despite what you may have heard about xylitol, I'm going to break it down for you why xylitol might be good for you in this video. Okay, we know that xylitol is a sugar-free sweetener and it's actually naturally found in many fruits and vegetables. And it can also be processed when they're actually making it as a sweetener from trees like birch trees and also from a plant fiber called xylin. Now, the xylitol's glycemic index is much lower compared to regular sugar. So regular sugar has a glycemic index of approximately 60 to 70, where the glycemic index of xylitol is only around seven. So that is a big difference when we're talking about how quickly a food or a sweetener is going to spike your blood glucose levels. We know that we want to, of course, minimize that when we're trying to regulate our blood glucose levels. Maybe if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, or you simply want to lose some weight, lowering our blood sugar often is going to help us in so many different ways in that regard. Now, we even, as humans produce our own small amounts of xylitol through normal metabolism, which a lot of people don't realize. And that's going to become important in just a second when I talk about the study. Now, another interesting aspect about xylitol is that it's great for our teeth. So you may have seen toothpastes that do have xylitol within them or gum that has xylitol. And there's a reason for that. It actually starves some of that bad bacteria that can lead to cavities. We also know that xylitol can fight yeast. So if you're familiar with candida, it's something that I talk about when we talk about candida cleansing and doing parasite cleansing. Well, candida and candida infections are very common. So if you have a white coating on your tongue, that can be a candida infection. The great thing about xylitol is that it reduces the yeast's ability to stick to surfaces and thereby helping to prevent that chronic infection with the candida. So whether it's the white coating on your tongue, maybe it's yeast infections, ear infections, sinus infections, dandruff even that could be related to that candida this is going to be really important with the use of xylitol. But here's the thing about xylitol. Now, recently in the news, it was claimed that xylitol is super dangerous and that it's linked to blood clotting and heart disease. So is this really true? Well, we really have to look at the research. And in the study, it was stated that xylitol is linked to major adverse cardiovascular events. So MACE and your increased MACE risk. But Unfortunately, in this study, the researchers didn't look at the intake. So were there participants in the study actually taking xylitol in from an outside source, whether that was from diet sodas or, you know, ingesting it from an outside source as a sweetener, or were these people actually making more xylitol internally? Because remember, we make it as humans on our own. Were they making it internally for whatever reason? And another aspect of the study that wasn't so great if you read it was that the participants actually were starting off with heart disease and it seemed to precipitate the heart disease and negative outcomes if xylitol level was high. So again, a lot of discrepancies in this study. I'm not sure it's the best data that we have out there on the safety of xylitol, especially when we look at the correlations with xylitol being overweight and having high blood glucose levels, how that relates to, you know, negative health outcomes in terms of our overall health. So something that, you know, do the research yourself and decide for yourself. But I do happen to have a fantastic recipe that I love and it uses xylitol and it's a natural whitening toothpaste recipe. So please check it out in this video so you can make it for yourself at home. I absolutely love it. I want to hear from you as well how much you love it.